welcome to Selika Max. Subscribe for more tutorials. In today's lesson, we will learn a uh, chair cover. A uh, few months ago, I also um, teach you a chair cover, but that was with a stretchable fabric. Uh, so this time, I'm uh, going to teach you um, with a, a non-stretchy fabric. So you need a fabric. Actually, first uh, um, I'm using in the see this is the thing that uh, you, you um, need and uh, I'm actually using a simple fabric um, because I first want to make a pattern you uh, you can say that it's some uh, muslin uh, usually um, designers do the muslin and uh, make a pattern on a rough fabric or on a cheaper fabric so this is very cheap fabric uh, so that's why i'm just making a pattern this is not uh, going to be my uh, actual um, cover so that's how you have to pin up it here and here you you will make a corners and all these things i will explain you uh, step by step in uh, uh, this tutorial so don't skip the tutorial and uh, see that's how you have to pin up it and make sure all the edges are equal and after pin, uh, pin up it I will mark all that uh, lines the stitching line exactly how uh, it is on the actual um, cover so let me first pin up all these things and then i will show you how i'm going to mark all these lines uh, be very accurate about the marking and see you can feel here the stitching line so this is the fabric that is uh, going towards a um, little bit uh, uh, i mean the upside um, the further side so in the front side sorry so that's how you have to for um, pin up it and after that make sure that you pin uh, pin up it with the stretch so exactly you need the you don't need any gathers or any loose thing so that's why uh, take some time to pin up it properly because this is going to be my pattern so um, I, I want to be sure that uh, all the things are accurate and then after that this pattern I will use for all my four chairs no need to mark it and mire again and again see that's how from down I uh, need the fabric some extra fabric because after that you can turn it inside and you can use the uh, stapler there is a special stapler available in the market that uh, you can use this type of uh, furniture um, things so you can use that or otherwise you can just leave it uh, as it is I will show you how so see now my um, this part is almost pin up and now uh, come to the other side and here also you can see here uh, is my stitching line and uh, after that I will leave some fabric for the folding and here also I can feel my stitching lines so pin up it properly take some time guys and uh, it is very important that uh, first you also do in a cheap fabric so any mistake anything you can correct on this part so see now i'm going to trace you you need a pencil uh, because pencil will be a little sharp so that's how you can uh, get the exact lines and uh, after tracing all these line after that we will add seam losses that that's why i leave here some extra fabric this is my exact stitching line and after that i need at least one inch for the uh, sewing allowance at the pattern you can leave uh, seam allowance one inch uh, because after that you will um, if you need any adjustment you can uh, do uh, exactly see here also you can see here the corners um, corners are here so we will make here a corner with the dots so exactly on the corners our uh, fabric will be fit so how we will do that i will show you when we will start the stitching part see 
all the way you have to um, trace and uh, guys if you want to see my uh, stretchable uh, cover tutorial you can check in my playlist uh, I already uploaded a video of stretchable uh, fabric uh, cover so that is actually that uh, that is actually the um, free size you can fit on any chair but this uh, type of cover is, is exactly on these um, chairs so see that's how and uh, after that all these uh, um, I will show you how you can stitch this because it will uh, be stitched in um, four parts uh, two parts are for the upside uh, up this um, chair and two parts are for the uh, seat part so all these four parts how we will join it i will show you in this um, video so i just mark it uh, quickly i just uh, made my um, video a little fast forward so see almost all uh, marking is done now let's um, start cutting part so now um, we are on uh, our cutting table i just mark exactly uh, let me smooth all the marking that i just did and after that i will add the seam allowances that is very important and uh, um, you can leave one inch or half inch uh, so because my fabric is very thin this is only for the pattern making purpose so that's why i'm leaving one inch otherwise in the regular thick fabric you can leave it um, half inch that is also enough and if you have a serger or overlocker um, that is a more good option to make it more finished see here i also mark the corners you can see and i'm just going to cut my fabric and after that um first we will uh, make the corners um i will show you actually we need here a dot so see this is now i'm going to trace my front part also uh, first i trace the back part and now it's the front part and then we will go on to the our uh, sewing machine and we will stitch it uh, together so just i'm doing it quickly so you guys uh, can get idea i i hope if any question you can ask me in the comment section and uh, please uh, subscribe silica mac for more tutorials and please hit the like button it will really help me to make more tutorials and uh, see now i'm going to cut my front part as well same as we did uh, in the back side so here i made a mistake sorry i forget to leave uh, the um, seam allowance on the one side but somehow i managed so be carefully uh, be careful about these markings but anyways this is my pattern um so it's okay i manage it um so you can see i cut on the exactly on the line but i have to leave uh, one inch that's why marking is very important uh, first you uh, mark the uh, stitching line then after that also mark the cutting line so in th um, that case you um, uh, you can avoid the mistake okay so now i'm going to make here the corner something like this so uh, let me show you that how it will fix after the stitching and uh, then we will uh, go to the sewing machine see uh, that's how we need here a corner to make it here our uh, corner so we actually need here a dot so i already uploaded the tutorials the detailed tutorials about the dots see here I just put the dot if you miss my tutorial about the dots and the princess seam and all these things you can check in my playlist I explain very well see now you can see it fit on my corner of this um, uh, chair and now um, I will show you that how you can attach the front part with this so let's go to the uh, sewing machine and i will show you 
how you can match the corners with the corners and how you uh, you have to stitch with the corners because corner part is very important uh, it will give you more uh, professional look if you manage the corners very perfectly so now i just place my front and back and uh, you can see back is um, bigger and front is smaller and these are our dots our corners and now i'm going to place it on this part and uh, here we need to stitch start from here uh, from the down part and here we will go uh, like uh, we will down our needle and then stitch this way and here uh, you have to leave it like this and see here you have to stitch like this and um, make here a corner so better i i will uh, move to the sewing machine so you can understand better so now i am on my machine you can see here i st uh, start stitching here and uh, when i will reach on my corner i will show you how perfectly you can make your corners because this is very important to give it a professional look that um, no nobody can judge that you made this at home so now see as my fabric is very thin this is not suitable for the uh, chairs but uh, anyways this is a pattern only see that's how you have to down your needle up your feet and then turn the fabric in this way you will get a sharp corner because here we need a sharp corners only so uh, then only we will get that exact shape that we have already in ready-made uh, cover that uh, chair has already so hope you understand now let me show you i just stitch on the one side but uh, i want to confirm that uh, is it uh, the fitting is okay and all these things at this step you can check and if any adjustment you can uh, do at this stage and see because i forget to add the seam losses here is less uh, little less but anyhow i will manage to stitch this and uh, see uh, the fitting is perfect now let me stitch on the other side so i stitch on the other side as well now our uh, this um, part of chair is ready now we will uh, go to the seat part so let me start that uh, marking because the seat part also has two parts one is down there see you can check here the fitting uh, from the back side as well it is perfectly fit and you can imagine if the fabric is thick uh, you will get a more good result so anyhow this is a pattern i will after making i will uh, remove all these things and use this uh, cuttings as my pattern so now i'm going to um, mark the uh, this uh, seat part and here you can see same way i just pin up it properly um to um first i um i uh, um, discover my um lines stitching lines and then i'm going to just pin up it properly so you can see here guys don't forget to subscribe the channel for more uh, upcoming videos i'm also uh, planning to make a sofa cover video if you are really interested let me know in the comment section and i will uh, if i get the feedback i will sure make a complete tutorial how to make the sofa covers and uh, obviously there are different uh, style of sofa um in market or at your home so i will show you that how different style you can make the covers like if it's a um, bed um, sofa bed or if it's a regular um, sofa or one seater or two seater whatever so i will explain in my upcoming videos but uh, for that i need your feedback and see i'm just going to pin up here and guys i also started a course about how to make uh, abaya you can check there is a whole course um i already did uh, two live classes and uh, five classes um four five classes um 
on you can check my playlist how to make a baya and also i have a playlist about uh, how to make pattern and suit dress for the beginners as well you can check all these things in my playlist and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button it will really help me to mo uh, make more tutorials see that's how i'm going to mark this part here so hope you understand till here if any question you can ask me now i just for fast forward my video so see here also we need some extra so we can fold it uh, later so um, all this part is done and now i'm going to um, cut this part this is actually a, a strip type of um, fabric or cutting so let me show you how i will cut so this is the my front part i'm just going to um, make the i mean the seat part i'm just uh, adding the seam allowances and all these things quickly and after that i will um, cut that uh, strip part that is uh, the front or face of this uh, chair uh, the uh, of the seat part and uh, see that's how it's a uh, uh, long strip type of uh, fabric that that we just need and after cutting i will show you how you can stitch this together and um, see guys your uh, feedback is very important even if you don't like this video you can uh, press the thumbs down button no problem but at least give me your response so i know that you are here and also youtube will know that yes people are watching my videos so it will help me a lot see that's how you have to stitch it here it just take a take to hit a button to help me see that's how you have to stitch here so i just stitch this part um, as well and let me show you after um, placing it on my chair if any question any doubt you can ask me and at least um, two meter of fabric i used here this is the normal width fabric so um, if you are uh, working with the wider uh, fabric obviously you need less and uh, see that's how because th this is very thin fabric so gathers are there but i will press it and uh, it will look more smooth and more neat and after that i will remove all these uh, stitches and uh, will use this uh, fabric as my, uh, my pattern for my actual fabric which i don't have uh, right now at home but when i will purchase i will use this white fabric as my pattern so here also we will stitch it together and this way this uh, cover will be complete so guys uh, i hope that you like this video uh, please give me your response and uh, hit the like button and if you don't like hit the thumbs down no problem but at least give your feedback and subscribe the salika mac thank you so much for watching take care bye bye